But Christy, what are you hearing from entrepreneurs and what do you think the gap is or the aptitude or like the angst in people's spirit moving from technician to entrepreneur? Yeah, um, I think for a lot of us, the big real stumbling block there is so much unknown. It's like, man, I know how to take a great photograph, but I don't know how to run QuickBooks. I know how to bake a really great cupcake as the classic illustration goes, but I don't know anything about like balancing my budget and um, like securing uh, an industrial kitchen. Um, and so I think a lot of us really get hung up on those unknowns and it, it varies from industry to industry and what type of business we're launching and if we're doing it solo or if we have a team going in with us. Um, but one of the things that can be really helpful is just um, to write out the things where you are strong. So for most of us, that's going to be our skill. It's going to be, I'm a great physical therapist. I'm a great dentist. I'm a great um, eyelash technician, or um, I'm a great communicator. <laughs> write out the things that you're good at, and then just take some time and write out the unknowns. Because oftentimes just getting it out of our head and saying, okay, these are the things I need to figure out, takes so much of the fog out of deciding whether or not to move forward. And then the beautiful thing is now you know who to ask for help. And now you know what kind of help to go get. And that might be um, in the form of a friend or uh, a freelancer or a uh, somebody from church that you know, or a spouse who has different strengths than you. Um, but just listing out the things that, um, that you're feeling uncertain of as you think about the skills that you do have and then the gaps that you know you need to fill. Um, so, so that's kind of my, yeah. my advice. I often think about the, um, the phrase that a jack of all trades is a master of none. And then that actual phrase continues but oftentimes better than a master of one. Mm. So as an entrepreneur, you're making the shift from being a master of your single trade into being a jack of many trades. Um, and even just being mindful that you need to make that shift um, can get you just a lot further down the road and making up that gap, I would say, between being a technician and being an entrepreneur. Yeah. 